We on, James? <laughs> Hello, watch lovers. You know what time it is. Sorry, guys. Been sort of a bit waylaid. I have Gavin with me this evening <laughs> and the lovely Kaylee. Hi, Good evening, guys. Everyone. Two years in, it doesn't get any easier, does it, Spence? <laughs> is that how long it's been? Yeah. It feels like yesterday. Doesn't it just? <laughs> doesn't it just? It's World Cup time on a Monday night and Wales are getting beaten, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no one likes to see that. Um, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a f- splendid evening. Um, and you've probably got Wales on in the background, as have we. So nobody's going to miss a thing. One thing I'm going to say and I'm going to kick off with is we wanted to do, Spence, a sweepstake for all the punters. Well, not for all the punters, actually. It's for 29. There's 32 places in the World Cup. We're one, two, three, three. so we've paid our 20 quid. So we're selling out 29 places. So Is basically, yeah, if you look at my little phone, I've got a Paddy Power sweepstake kit. And what happens is the first 29 people or less who want to super chat 20 quid, the 20 quid's going to go in the pot. I'll pop up the, the rest of what it is because I think... So we've got 32 they, they places at 20. Yeah, three, 32 places at 20 and we'll, we'll we'll find a nice prize for the winner of the World Cup. But basically, if you want to super chat us 20 quid, it's all going to go into the little pot here. Uh, on the screen, you'll see... Um, yeah. Well, Gabe, you can put up my bank details, I don't mind. Well, it's, no, it's just your name. Look, no, mind. It's, it's, no, for the money to go into <laughs> it's, just, it's just your name. It's no, just the money name. I was talking about, not the... <laughs> Oh, for the dough? Yeah, for the dough. Me. It should go to me, really. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, Tim Jack's not seemed like two years for Spencer, so he's been away for half of it. (laughs) Ed, I love Lacoste. Yes. Ed, you may have noticed I'm slightly sponsored by Lacoste um, in my professional career as a nobody. Um, Now, Kaylee. Yep. What are you wearing? So I've gone for, Gav. Now, this to me, I think. Quite low key for you, isn't it? Yeah, I thought, you know, you keep having a go at me. So this is a one Gav, two. Hang on, let's just check. <laughs> Gav, do you know what this is? See if he knows the dial. See if he knows it's the little, model number. Little Gavin quiz. Yeah, it's, on, it's a Wimbledon dial. Do you know the model number? Uh, do I know the model number off the top of my head? Nope. Okay, so you it's a one two six three three four forty one mil. Date just Wimbledon dial. Love that, Kaylee. Love that. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. And something different for you, isn't it? Yeah, as Spencer just said. <laughs> Yeah. Very understated. Spencer, Pepsi? <laughs> no. Choice of a new generation. Oh, by the way, before we move on to Pepsi, has anybody seen the documentary? Oh, on Netflix? Netflix? No. What one? Pepsi, Where's My Jet? Or something like that. No. Go check it out tonight, Spencer. Pepsi, Amazing. Where's My Jet? Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen it, do uh, do go check it out. I've gone non-Rolex. No way. He's lying. I actually, this came in, I think it's a lovely watch. What do you got? Oh. That's a boutique oh. piece. I know what this the is. Green ceramic. Obsessed. I think it's oh, one of the best Panerai's we've so ever had. So when I in. saw this Panerai come out in uh, Watches and Wonders, I wondered how long it would be. It's literally taken half a year for this mm. to come in, but it's absolutely beautiful. So isn't that's it? Panerai's version of the Hulk. Yeah, stunning. Um, funnily enough, um, <laughs> we were going to have this for an unboxing tonight, Spence. But <laughs> seeing as it's now unboxed, we'll um, we'll just talk about it now. Forty-four mil. I yeah. believe, Kaylee. But yeah. the ceramic, the colour, it's great. It's yeah, just, the colour is great. Let's have a little it look across here. It comes with a few different straps as well. Yeah. There's a rubber There's as a well. There's a rubber green, it. Yeah, you which can is see also it, in the... <laughs> it just sort of fades across, doesn't yeah. it? It really is gorgeous. So, where, yeah, where's the big rubber strap? It came on a big rubber, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I changed it today. I thought, you know what? Change it. Change right, it okay. up. Beautiful. And I know when this first came in, Spence, you were thinking about having this for like your little personal collection, but... Uh, Looking it on your wrist. Let's pop it on your wrist because it's a monster. Um, I think the rubber strap fits better. Right. But it is quite a big, it's a big piece. But the, but, but the just what it is. Hold it up to your stra- camera. Let's show everybody how, how big it looks. The strap hasn't moulded in. But it right. Is, it is quite big. It does sit quite big. Speaking of big Spencer. What have you got on Gav? Speaking of big Spencer, I wonder if anybody can guess what that Shut is up. on my wrist. Shut up. You're lying. If anybody can guess How? what that is on my wrist. Gav, I think you've shown enough. Look, we're going to get in trouble. Don't show any more. Shh. It's a challenge. I've just realised that my sound is on my laptop, which is no good. We're trying to download the unboxing. Um, <laughs> you got the challenge. How? Can you so no. That's not one. We haven't even got one. God, last, well, w- last week he gets a meal, Gav. So now he goes and gets <laughs> the challenge. Well, you know, when you're in, when you're in with your peeps, you're in with your peeps, yeah, right? You know and you um, No, it's a very interesting story, Spence. Actually... It is an interesting story because it stems around you getting sent Schnorra watches, right? Pikey watches. So that came into me five or six years ago. 
Okay, so I'm gonna no pop- one's gonna, no one will believe the I, story. I'm going to pop this under the camera so everybody can see it because it's very, very interesting. Okay, so everybody will look at that very quickly and go, "Oh my God!" It says deep sea challenge on it. It's fifty mil. Okay, it's an absolute beast of a watch. Look at the thickness of it. It's a beast. But I was going through looking for a watch the other day, and I saw all the box of all the rubbish, all the all the all the crap. All well, the fakes. fakes. What we do is we keep them there because I do training. Sometimes stores come in or they want to see fake watches. That came into me, I think, about six years ago. But here's the thing. When I saw this, I thought to myself, oh, my God. how I can see why you thought six years ago it was an absolute fake and literally just threw it in a, yeah, in a bucket. Yeah. But six years later, that's not a million miles I away. I haven't seen it yet, but you're right. I don't think it's that dissimilar to that. Yeah. I mean, the, fa- the, the dial is a little bit uh, different, and it doesn't say Deep Sea Challenge on the actual sort of insert of the yeah. bezel. But... But look, if you look at the numbers on the dial, I mean, it wasn't a million miles away. I mean, that was about six years ago. They've guessed the meterage. But also, it well, says Deep Sea Challenger. I just can't believe it. They've called it five, other, six other years At the time ago. when it came in, I, I joked that it was a concept. It's now grown into actually <laughs> well, not so this is it. being when, a when, concept. When I was in, I got the watchmakers to open up the back because I'm thinking, oh, my God. Because you, li- when I said, we're going to bring this on the show, you said, well, that piece of junk. I went, Spencer. What if, look, if what if inside if is a someone Rolex movement? Was, does want to give me 2.8 million for the concept. And you're sitting I'm on the most expensive it. watch you've ever had at BQ Watches because you thought it was a piece of shite. So it could have come out of the We factory. could get a call tomorrow from an unknown number. Hi, I saw your channel last night. Buy it back. <laughs> Rolex may need to buy it back from me. It's, it wouldn't be the first time. It is time. so heavy. Yeah. Red Shovel, I tried the Deep Sea Challenge on on Saturday and it's ridiculous. It's not... As ridiculous as it seems. Oh, wow. People that's have amazing. said that, though, haven't okay. they, that have, got, have, that have got it? That so, looks ridiculous. Try that on your wrist, Spence. Oh, you couldn't even walk around. That's like I'd a brick. Put... I, I'd end up hitting it into everything. It's like a magnifying glass. That's so wow. large. <laughs> okay. 157 of you, and uh, nobody wants to play our draw, clearly. Okay, so it's just us three. Yeah, so, so basically... I want to see what teams Well, we what get. team do you want? Because no one else is in it now, so it's just us three. I want England. Oh, you can have England all day long. Who do you want, Spence? Hang on, we're not just going. Well, there's no, there's no super chats for anybody. Nobody really wants to play the game, so it's just me, you, I and will take... then. Maybe explain it again. I'll explain it again. Okay, so we wanted to have a little, um, a little, a little bit of fun for the World Cup, and up on the screen now you can see um, it's a Paddy Power auto draw. So the idea is, is that we will have a little sweepstake for the World Cup. Super chat us £20. We're going to put the £20 in the pot and we'll fill your names in on here and whoever draws the winning team and wins the World Cup, we'll have a bit of banter for, for the month. Um, yeah, and if we don't get 29 people, we don't get 29 people. Sure. I want Argentina, sure. by the way. Can we pick two? Is I would like th- England and Brazil. Ah, you like Spence? England and Brazil. No, you can't, well, you can't do that, can you? Well, there's 32 teams. Might as well pick two. Well... Well, to be fair, if it's only three, might, if it's only three, three of us, we can have ten. <laughs> we can have ten. Right, uh, let's see. What, let's see how it goes. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, the World Cup. It started. It has. And it's all chaos. Love There's VAR today. decisions all over the place. Wrong VAR yeah. decisions yeah. again. Yeah, I mean that one. Sorry. What was no. wrong? There was a hair over the line, I believe. <laughs> hair over the line. There's a there's a new rule that's come out apparently. The, the, sorry, James. The goal. You got your mic on so they can hear you, because no one else can. Go on, there's, James. There's what's a new the rule? ruling. Go on, James. It's not a new rule. It's the oldest rule going. Go on. And it is that the there must be two players between the goal line and the ball when time of played. The goalkeeper was further advanced than the striker, which meant defender one and two needed to be behind the ball in order for them to be... You lost me. I'm out. All right, I'm James, out. We believe I'm out. You. Good okay. evening, Paul Thorpe from Turkey. Oh, oh hi, PT. Hey. Is that where you got that watch? PT, yeah. <laughs> PT. He must be having a great holiday if he's tuning in to us. I was going to say, he must be so <laughs> bored. Mrs. She must be asleep. Oh, she's, on the, she's on the cognacs by now. <laughs> Hope you're well, Paul. Hope you're, you're keeping good. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, the World Cup, because I, I just kind of couldn't get excited for it, even though I've been watching a little bit of it today. How do you all feel a bit about it in the office? I think it's early, look, it's early days. It, during the day, we had it on, obviously, in the background, the phone. Suddenly, it was like a ghost town. The phones didn't go. Yeah. No one was on the streets. 
No, it was dead. I it think it's crazy. early days. Look, you generally sort of of an evening with a few people go, if you come around, to, you know, is when you watch yep, football. Yeah, come around and watch it. At lunchtime, it just seems, seems a bit strange. To have games. Yeah. Also, it just seems to be a bit oh, strange yeah. when it's cold outside as well. I can only super chat seventeen ninety nine. Well, that's interesting. So you've only got eighteen percent of a team. Ian 80%. Nicholson, twenty quid. There you go. Do you know what, Red? I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll top, put, I'll I'll top you up. Yeah, yeah, we'll top you up. Don't worry about that. We'll have a bit of fun. So let me just type this in. You carry on chatting amongst yourselves. <laughs> Ian Nicholson, I have to win something sometime. Doesn't he win everything that we do? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so Ian Nicholson. Yeah, the only issue is Ian Nicholson yeah. will probably want Newcastle for the World Cup. You better tell him it's not in it. Yeah, no, he, he, knows, he knows they're not in. Um, and by the way, uh, Ian, just say, I hope you're feeling better. I know um, a few boys got um, mm. unwell from the uh, the watch show we went to. Yeah. We were supposed to have Dimitri on last night from, uh, tonight from D-Time Love. He's still Unfortunately, unwell. he's a little bit unwell yeah. as well. So, um, oh, look, there's five of us now. There you go. Okay. Got less chances now, Kaylee. Mm. Just, just saying, just saying. We've got um, six teams each. So, the commentators are raging on about how good England are, but... I'm not being funny, we let in two goals against Iran, who are quite possibly the worst team I've ever seen. Uh, no, Qatar have got to be the worst team. Well, Qatar are because they're a fake team, because they've only just well, come together just, for the World Cup yeah. since 2016 and didn't have a team before that. Um, but I'm small, you know, I'm I, just, I can't get excited by that. What are you watching, yeah. Spence? You're watching the game as well, aren't you? My eyes gone funny. I thought it's it was 2-0. It's still 1-0. I had to it's, look it's, twice. It's still 1-0. I'd like Wales to win this game. You'd like Wales? Wales? The Welsh? Oh, I hope so as well. Um... But they were good. Some of them were good goals, though. Today, you have to admit. Well, um, I was just telling Kaylee actually before we came on air. I had a little ten pound bet today, which I thought were great odds. Um, Harry Kane to have a shot on target at even money, mm-hmm. and I thought what a, what a great bet. Harry Kane, our lead striker, to have a shot on target. We scored six goals. Harry Kane did not have a shot on target <laughs> in the entire match. Um, yeah. Paul Thorpe, yes, you can play. I know you don't know how to super chat, but we'll put you in anyway. Spencer. That's another 20 quid. Add it another 20 quid. Slate. Stick it on his slate. <laughs> Stick it on his slogger. Paul Thorpe. Um, let me try and spell it properly. Carry on, kids. Oh, here we go. What? Matt H. I thought someone was Okay, scared. Paul Thorpe. We've got Matt H, 1799. That's fine. Close enough. That's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> we'll work it out. <laughs> Matt age. 1799. Matt, let's put this back on the on the screen so you can, um, see, you can see them all going in. But yeah, no, I did think it was Pete quite, the a Greek. Good, Go on. quite good goals, some of them. Who scored, Kaylee? Um, Jude Bellingham, Saka, Grealish. Saka caught, scored two. Grealish, Rashford. Kaylee. And did you think, did you see what Grealish did? Yeah, no, no, stop, because I watched the video today. I actually think it's really sad. I didn't it see was it. lovely. It was what amazing. Happened? Yeah, there was a little boy who was like came Finley. to the training, a Finley, who came to the training ground and, and met him. And he said, you know, if you score a goal at the World Cup, will you do like a, will you do my celebration? And he said, well, what's your celebration? He went, it's this. It's this. It's this. He scored the goal and he did the celebration. <laughs> How lovely is that? No, so Finley has cerebral palsy and obviously Jack Grealish's sister has cerebral palsy. Oh, that's and, lovely. Yeah, it's a very so cute nice. story. Very uh, cute. Ted Mack, you're entered. Yeah, I got shovel in. Oh, and Sterling, sorry, Mister. Mr. Yeah, and Raheem. Yeah, um, yeah, amazing. No, it was, yeah, amazing. Um, on top of that, have you been doing any work, you lot? Um, yeah, Spencer yeah, didn't watch the second half because he was working. Was he really? Like, oh, I was working God. actually. No way. <laughs> wow. Yeah, busy that actually, weekend. Gab, we were planning the new office. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. No, James. Yep. Uh, <laughs> next year, Nick Nicholas in. Yeah. So, how are the plans coming, Spence? When are you going to be able yeah. to share anything? Or is it like a big surprise at the it's end? A big surprise. You're going to have to wait because I don't know myself. I you don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> have not got a clue. But you must have a like concept of the look and feel you're going to go for. Yeah, we're working on it. Work in progress. Yeah. Okay. But it will be nice, and we can't wait for you all to come down and see it, and you know, just. Get drunk. Nick, Nicola, go on then. Can I have Brazil, please? Blimey. Pick. Hang wow. on, are people picking? No, 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 much. no. There's, on the screen, Spence, <laughs> it's Paddy it's Power. Like, that's Once we fill all the names, we press go and it allocates us all the team. Okay. Yeah. Gab, you could do your hair like Grealish. <laughs> I'd have to have some hair to do that. Um, there's been a little bit of Patek action over the last couple of days. Have you seen a couple of these little um, little new launches? Let's They're just launching things randomly, aren't they? I know, I know. Let's have a little look. Um... They popped wow. up with this. This is a nice little cheapy. I think it's. A, I could be wrong. Cheap. I think it's about four hundred grand. Yeah. Uh, it's a reference six to three hundred, four hundred G. It's set with four hundred and nine baguette cut diamonds. Jesus. 
31.35 carats. Oh. Is that perpetual calendar? Yeah. Or yeah. What is it? I believe it is. Wow. There's um, a lot going on on that dial. It's quite low key, isn't it? And yeah. They do it in blo- oh, no. That. And there you go. Uh, same again. Shimmers with 118 baguette cut blue sapphires. No. I the mean, work, yeah. The work in that. Uh, with the calendar incredible. dial on the cap. It's incredible, isn't it? I prefer it with the I mean, not blue diamonds. Not sure. Blue sapphires. First and how the third. What does the winner receive? Well, that's a good question because until we know how many people have entered and what the pot, the pot is, basically all the money is going to go into the pot and we're going to buy something with all the money. And um, yeah. Nick Coleman, three million, Gav. Wow, it's over three million, isn't it? There you go. I mean, it's just What's massive, massive What's money. What is? I believe this one is three million. Yeah. You want one, Spence? No, I'll pass. I know, I know a man can get one for you. Um, mm-hmm. Like, wow, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The 5271 11P. Um, once again, with blue cut, 80 baguette blue cut sapphires. Ooh. I like that. That looks really nice. 80 baguette cut rubies set on the bezel, the lugs, and the fold over clasp. Pretty special. Oh, Paul thought you actually sent your money in. You've only got to stick two quid in for him now. <laughs> Done well. I can't send 20 either. Okay, well, you can just make it 17 99 I mean, whatever it is. We'll, we'll, we'll top up the 20 quids. Uh, oh, James, launch pod. Lovely. You you popped yourself up as well. Fantastic. <laughs> They've all got restrictions. Yeah. Or no money. Um, <laughs> launch pod, you're in there. Okay, Thurston, how the third? Oh, we're getting full. I've got to fill him in, though. <coughs> Keep talking, kids, while I just talk sort this. I'm watch, watching the game. <laughs> Because I didn't understand what the ref was just doing. That didn't make any sense. Sometimes they just do funny actions with their hands. Yeah. You can we'll, we'll carry, carry on. Carry on. Okay. I've got to get these names in. <laughs> in a minute, we'll have more than 29 people. This is the content they're here for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's more, imp- more important. What we got there then, Gav? You want to give me some of the questions? What questions? You can have that. That's the ref- That's all the, the references to those. Uh, that's the what's on your wrist. There's oh, everything else is coming. You, uh, in fact, James, I think actually, um, you're absolutely right. For some reason, it, it shot out the wrong. Um, yeah, that's really really strange. Oh, yeah. So Gav done wrong this time. Yeah, Gav what's was really that? messed up tonight. <laughs> Gav um, sent over an unboxing, which. Disconnect. Sorry. Disconnect. Yes. Uh, Gav sent over um, an unboxing to James uh, for today's show, which happens to be the watch. That, sorry, that looks huge. The watch that you brought out in front of you. I think it's low key. Old watch lady, seventeen ninety nine. We'll pop you uh, in. Oh. No, sp- <laughs> sorry. That is. Look at the size of the glass on that. It's like a magnifying glass. That's huge. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know, whacking that into everything. Imagine going to sleep with that on. Did you open it? Yeah. Yeah. And what's in it? Yeah. It, it's a genuine fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is genuine. <laughs> genuine fake. Gav, put me down. I'll square up twenty pounds when I see you in the morning. Okay, that's a heavenly mark. Are oh, you seeing heavenly mark tomorrow, Gav? Yeah, we're having breakfast. Where are you going? We're going to. We're going to. Um, while I've got you, while we're we're filling some time, can you can you answer a myth for me? Go on then. Okay. When I was a kid growing up, you used to do this thing where if you bought a fake watch into a watch person. Would would you take a hammer to it in front of them? Um, Ro- main ads would, yeah. There were oh, things real thing. where Rolex or Cartier, if they came across anything that was fake, they did used to show sort of things where they smash it with a hammer or have a steamroller. They would destroy them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So actually, I'm not sure so much anymore. I think they'd be worried about the backlash or human rights or God knows what else could happen if you smash something up belonging to someone but they did used to do that they used to use it sort of as like an exhibition to show what they would do um so we actually had a new card fake in the other day didn't we yes and we haven't had well i haven't seen one yeah that was quite interesting actually to see we had what was it starbucks was starbucks that yeah gab we had a starbucks in with a fake card did fake you watch fake watch um, fake card we had to tell the guy he said he bought it in italy we had the tears and everything he was, oh no yeah, yeah. that's a terrible Again, thing to we tell someone seen an, like a new fake card yet obviously right. we know like the older ones but obviously the newer ones he said he had bought it last year and yeah. he did sell it and he did the money and ah. we had because i know paul put a video up on his channel about three weeks ago was showing the machine printing the fake cards mm. 
So, it's I mean, that, that really is a thing. Yeah, no, it was mental, actually. Um, Greggy, you're asking, what are all the £20 for? We've got a sweepstake going on for the World Cup. Uh, it's £20 to enter. We're halfway through being entered. Um, so I think we've got 16 names left. And That's good. For all the 20 quids or 17.99s that are coming, we're going to throw all the money in the pot. We're going to buy a prize with the um, with the money for the winner, whoever gets the team selected and whoever wins the World Cup. So uh, anybody who wants to super chat us, the 17.99 or the 20 quid, whatever it is, you will be entered along with the three of us. And we'll press the button so you can see the draw live on, on this screen. That's just if we here. get there this evening, yeah? Is that well, whatever happens, by the end of the show, we'll just press draw. I, I assume it means we'll get two each or something. I mean, I go random Always. draw. So, um, I don't know, it's a Paddy Power thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was really Rachel, upset. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, but, yeah, I mean, some people, I think they have an inkling. Obviously, sometimes they do. But the old saying, I mean, if you think it's too good to be true, it normally is too good to be true, and you've yeah. been done. Do you think you can tell when someone's coming in and trying it on with you? Yeah. What's the body language like when they hand over the watch? Do they have nervous? Not necessarily when they hand no, it over. But everyone, whenever... Over the years, and it's happened a number of times, people always sort of act surprised, but I I am of the believer that I think people know. You think they do know? Yeah. Greggy, you're in the draw? No, Often yeah. people are handed things by relatives or cousins or aunties or uncles or people who are unfortunate. Often the story, Gavin, is someone who's passed away has left it with me. Yeah. And the people are just absolutely... Yeah. Pete the Greek's asking, is the super clone market doing any damage to the grey market and AD market? Is the what? The super clone market. Well, it always... Not real damage, but if people... People could be done by things. Look, some people are gullible, some people are looking for a bargain. But now, I think... Kaylee, wouldn't you not agree where you've got Instagram, Facebook, the internet? It's so yeah, easy. Yeah, and to... also we if we if a fake watch does come in so obviously that one that came in the other day will always take pictures and like just let other do you know what i mean because People if i was if i was bringing a fake watch into you kaylee and you walked in and you just said to me i'm just going to go and open up the case back to check it i would probably be trying to bolt for the door but you can't get out the door but we won't but we we I will always say we're going to go and get it checked yeah and i think sometimes if they can try and like trying it on they i think they're just trying to see if maybe just maybe the watchmakers yeah. Well, this you know what this mean? is what happens with us the whole time. We're always checking whether a watch is fake, stolen, yeah. anything untoward, the whole time. Yeah, I mean it's big business, isn't it? These uh, these things, and uh, it's not. But some of them are extraordinary. Yeah, I have heard that. I know. Um, yeah, Roman had one on the on his show the other day. Like extraordinary. That was the best non watch he's ever sort yeah. of seen. Yeah. Wow. Um, but they but they still come in. They still get brought in. Yeah, but I, I personally think most people know. So you think yeah. you think your your customer who came in with the watch from Italy, yeah. what he, he goes back to Italy and tells them? I no, I just think he he said that he paid sixteen thousand euros at the time. He said I thought it was a good deal because they were worth twenty thousand. I I don't believe the story. But also, Gav, honest. I don't. Believe I found it. I went and saw him, and the and the, this is obviously we welcome walk-ins it's not a problem at all but he traveled half an hour without booking an appointment just to come and see us with this watch and you know when you just get a vibe from the minute someone walks in like he had come all the way didn't realize he had to make an appointment but drove all the way from his house to here which is like a 30 minute drive yeah and then bought it out i mean from the minute it got out and i took it out i, I could tell that it wasn't right but Obviously, took it into the office and James, check James has popped up in the comments suggestions for the next video how to destroy a fake watch and everyone's going sledgehammer give the watch to Ian to shoot up at the range <laughs> uh, Ian Nixon I can take you up to the shooting range to Josh Benson put the fake in the pressure test and see what damage happens inside yeah <laughs> uh, but you have got a massive box of them haven't you I mean it's funny that you keep them I know you, you do use them for training I use them for training to show people when people ask questions about fake and you can just throw them on the desk and show them what there is That's but often when I mean over the years Gavin when people send them in we say to people if you would like it returned the Royal Mail will charge you £10 and people say just throw it in the bin just throw it in the bin Tim Jack says get Spencer to drive over it in his steamroller <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that'd be quite a, a good idea, video isn't it? I'd like to watch yeah, that stick a dynamite or a tank yeah maybe yeah. we should do that Kaylee, you've 
picked out some celebrity watch watches. This hold on, is that another goal? No, he missed the goal. Did he miss it? Yeah, poor little soul. Was that the Wellish? It was, wasn't it? Oh dear. Um, they just missed two goals in two seconds. You're really paying attention to this, aren't you? Oh, let's have a little look. Oh, Trudy Lincoln. Your mum's in. That means I've got to pay her that money now when I get out of here. <laughs> By the way, we're having a meet up with your mum at Harrow Leisure Centre. One, oh, Trudy, yeah. you and I, Harrow Leisure Centre, skate park. See you there. <laughs> no, because we had this conversation after last week. Yeah. And she was like, "Did they re- like? Did you really?" Yeah, go we there? live, like, we yeah, live but... around the corner from there. If I tell you, Kaylee, I spent my entire summer at, at childhood at Harrow Leisure Centre so because we the, didn't. By the outdoor yeah, but pool. how old were you? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because we didn't go on holiday. Don't get the violins out. We didn't <laughs> go on holiday. So my mum used to take all the kids down to the Harrow Leisure Centre with a cool box with sandwiches and picnic, and we used to sit by the outdoor pool like we were in Saint Tropez or somewhere. Yeah. But obviously it was Harrow. She didn't teach you because she was she's younger than you both. Yeah, I know she's younger than us <laughs> both. Yeah, she was also there with her sandwiches. <laughs> but if I wasn't doing that, then we were on the games machines. They had squash courts there, didn't yes, they? they? Back did. in the day, yep. and I used to be in the in the skate park on my BMX and then on my skates as well. Never a skateboard. No. I was never why? a skateboarder. I don't know. It wasn't one of the cool kids. I used kids. to love roller skates. I used to find them skated. so yeah. fun. Spencer roller skated. Professionally. Broke my, broke my wrist. Broke his oh. wrist. What did you have, Spencer? Bower turbos? Um, I had Bower turbos. Sim Street Snakes wheels. Yes. The green. I had the green. Green, green, green cryptos? No, Sims. Street snakes. snakes. Yeah. And the black um, roller skate boots. Yeah. Yeah. Black boots. <laughs> yeah. Bower. Bower yeah. turbos. Yeah. 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 We are so 80s, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I just had like normal ones. Uh, Trudy says, it's a date. For CD says, I thought you were from Devon. Nope. So, long story. Come on, family let's history, let's go. Leicester. Nope. nope. So I was born in Edgware Hospital. Okay. Then lived in Bournemouth until I was six. Then moved to Leicester. Then moved to Australia for a year. Then moved back to Leicester. Oh, good eye, mate. And then moved to Devon. um, (laughs) No, sorry. I was only 12 when I moved there. (laughs) I had no idea about watches then. Then moved to Devon. Mum and the kids stay in Devon. I'm here. You've literally globetropped from Boreham Wood to Devon. Yep. And you're back in Radlett now. Yeah. My mum likes to move every five years. And the other year, she, the other month, she went to me, do you know, I might go to Scotland next. I went, well, that's, yeah, the kids ain't going to go with <laughs> wow. you. Wow, Scotland. Kid Mambo, <laughs> Gav's still waiting for the Back to the Future hoverboard. I'm actually going this weekend to the exhibition in Camden. Are you I'm going to take my camera. They'll probably tell me off. Oh, Ray Ray, oh, um, I'll pop, pop you in. Um, I'm taking my camera with me. They'll probably tell me off for filming. But I feel like I need to bring back like all the little delights of... Um, of what went on at the Back to the Future exhibition, which is in Camden Market this weekend. If anybody wants to come, do give me a shout. You're more than welcome to come and join me. I'll get the tickets in. Um, what does it say? I saw one come here. Brett Meister, if a watch is bought to you for sale, part X, that has just come from an AD with full warranty, and you check it and take off the back, does it still have its full warranty? So good if you question. take the case back good off. Good question. We wouldn't really... If it's had a service, we wouldn't take the back off. No, if it's a brand new watch... We wouldn't take the back off. You wouldn't take the back off? No. If you just literally walked no, in from... wouldn't need to. Wouldn't need to. Okay, fair enough. Um, Carl, Gav, can you ask, are we getting a worthwhile Christmas auction? In other words, another BQ auction. I am looking at it. Yeah. I am looking at it. Um, what state where are we... I'm not being funny. It's the 20th of November. I if know. you're going to do it, we need to do it in like the next, probably yeah. in two weeks' time. Um, like the 12th. I'm, where are we now? two or three weeks I'm looking at it may well do another one okay yeah. and guys if you have any suggestions for watches you'd like to see in the auction please do <laughs> go through the BQ Watches website at bqwatches.com while we're on that we've also got some Black Friday good deals on up to 30% off have you so and we're doing some Cyber Mondays yeah we're sort of you're doing Cyber Monday yeah, you're, yeah. You, you sell watches what's that got to do with Cyber well we're doing Black Cyber you're doing Black Cyber. Yeah. I, I I need to tell everybody a terrible story. Oh, um, shit. Yeah, it's it's a terrible story because I can't really. I'm smiling from ear to <laughs> ear, but my good friend in that control room, James, pinged me a message on Friday. I said, Not a good story. "It's a good story." It's Gav, 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 Gav. You've got to get onto Amazon right now. We buy these tiny little hard drives. Okay, um, they're super fast. Sandisk solid state drives. They're anywhere between sometimes four to eight hundred pounds. James spotted that they were selling for twenty five quid 
in their Black Friday. Of course, obviously, completely. Cleared, James cleared them out. So obviously. James has obviously cl- cleared them out. I've got on there. James, you got the whole lot. Yeah. Hold on. I've ordered. I've done it sensibly. I've ordered. I've done it sensibly. I got delivered. James got all his orders cancelled. <gasps> so no. James, I'm gonna. Ha- I'm obviously gonna have to give you a drive j- to make you feel so much better. But what a great shout! Well done, Fantastic. James. Fantastic. Excellent f- loyalty there. Uh, luck of the Irish thing. We're not in the draw in the tournament, Ray Ray. Well, you know what? You never know. You never know who you're going to get. You might get someone really decent that will win it, like Argentina. Like England. Uh, England. Carl says, please add the double one six five double O L N white dial. Let's get true value, please. Oh. Ken Dagger says, Amazon always cancels sales. Well, interestingly, Measure. they didn't cancel they didn't. mine. Yeah. Um, what do you mean sensibly, though, when you say you ordered your... You, you only ordered, order like, huge you used quantities. I didn't go huge quantities, but essentially what happened is I just had a touch. Oh. You ordered a few. I ordered... Put them in the basket. Three, yeah, probably at retail £3,000 worth of drives for 120 quid. Very nice. Yeah, Very so nice. did James. Got... <laughs> yeah. Um, Fred Horton, I've never commented before. Thanks very much for commenting now. Uh, but just got some inheritance money and thinking about putting it into something I can keep for life. What would everyone buy if they had a 25k budget? Something vintage. You'd buy something vintage, absolutely, without question, wouldn't you? So what would you buy with 25k something Either vintage? Either an old sub or Zenith, bordering on a Zenith Daytona or an early GMT, something like that. But you can give me a call, I can talk him through it. Yeah. Not all the vintage goes up on the site. No. But that's definitely what I'll go for. Yeah. What about for you, Kaylee? What would you What would you put your? But someone gave you twenty five grand. Um. Or would you buy your date just and? I'd still have change. I still have change. So I would. Yeah, I probably would. If not, I might buy like a bi metal Daytona. Yeah. With twenty five grand, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. I love that date just. But if someone you get change of that now. Well, I would say for twenty five grand, interestingly, it goes against everything I believe. You buy. But I would take the opportunity if I was given twenty five grand. Probably, interestingly, I would buy a Riddler. I knew you were going to say that. Because I won't buy one ordinarily at twenty whatever they are twenty twenty one twenty two now, and I'm not getting one at least. I know I'm never getting one. Yeah. And it is a watch I'd like to have in my collection. So I think I would stick that away. Um. People, a lot of people have said that will be discontinued. And when it is, that will rock it. Yeah. It will go back probably to the level that I said. I think it will go north of 30 Okay, when it's discontinued. But we're not buying them at 30 but now. I'm not buying them at 35. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. No, they're yeah. now 20. <laughs> what I did find interesting is um, we saw a friend in the shop the other day who came to have a little look. Um, and you brought out the Tiffany OP just to show her. And it really has kind of held its price, hasn't mm. it? It's really still up in the sort of... 20 Yeah, 20-ish, 20 yeah. yeah. which is, yeah. you know, bearing in mind all the hype pieces have really come, you know, been battered off. And I know it went crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. But it's still up around the circle mm. 20 yeah, level. It's it quite amazing. It's a five-gram watch. Yeah. yeah. So it's four times list. Yeah. It's quite a lot of money. Pretty amazing. Yeah. I asked you, Kaylee, to do the celebrity watch watch this week on Footballers. Should we take yeah. a look? <laughs> So he is actually, I've got France in the sweepstake and he's their main striker Karim and he's been Benzema. injured. He's not playing. Which I'm fuming Karim about. Benzema, he's absolutely awesome. He's an unbelievable player. That is a gorgeous watch. Yeah. <laughs> so that's obviously the yellow gold Daytona meteorite dial. So 116518LN. And obviously list is 28,250. It, that seems like a bargain, doesn't it? At twenty eight, two hundred and fifty. Yes. Yeah, it really does. One. With a yeah. meteorite dial. Come on, then. What's and it? What's it go for, James? It goes pop it up. For ninety. Ninety k still. Wow. Don't see so many. No. Not yeah. At all. No, but we don't really see them on the oyster flex. No. I feel like the ones on the bracelet we get offered more than we do on any on an oyster flex. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Your man Not who scored today. He did. Two seconds on the pitch and he scored. He had three touches and scored his first yeah. uh, World Cup goal. Amazing. Sensational. Marcus Rashford. Yeah. So that's a Richard Mill RM11-03. So that's 165,000. These never go cheap, List. do they? And the number. I'm going to guess 320. 320. Go on. Spence. 500. James. Oh. 400 grand. 
You were both kind of <laughs> you were both kind of on the right money. In the middle. Wow, kind of on the money. Um And now it might be the most controversial one I've ever done at the moment. Why but obviously his up his nose? <laughs> Ronaldo in yeah. his explosive interview with yeah. Piers Morgan. Did you enjoy that? Um I didn't really watch it. I mean I watched I watched little bits, it kept coming up on my TikTok, but the, th- the shame of it for me is I like I can't disagree with some of the things he says and the way yeah. he's been treated as probably the world's finest player. But there's a time and place. And he absolutely just spat his dummy out. And he's made... It's now an irreconcilable... Irreconcilable or whatever. Yeah. Position. He's never making up. It, yeah. There's no... no. Ma- he's going to get what he wants. He's going to get let, by, let go by the club. They can't keep him. And it's just yeah. a shame at the end of his career that it just has to go down like that. It's, it's a real shame. But he's got a beautiful watch and watch collection, hasn't he? Yeah, and you know he's the most followed person on Instagram today. He hit five hundred million today. He hit five hundred million. I heard today. someone asking the question, "What have you got more of, cash or followers on his. Instagram?" And he said, "Probably about the same." Was it? The, and he said, "About the same." <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did you see that um, picture though that Louis Vuitton put up with him and Messi? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. It's going wow. Like viral. Four CDs. As just said, my friend has just got a rainbow at list. Now that is a that watch. is special. I still haven't seen one. Yeah. Love a rainbow. I still haven't seen one. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Um, and that's your celebrity watch watch this My week. Celebrity watch yeah. watch this week. Well, we're gonna do a month of, of the footballers, I think, Kaylee. So if you can keep scouting oh, around God. everybody's Instagram okay. and find one without their finger up their nose, that would be amazing. Um Four CDs asks Spencer, do you think the US market is dropping more than the UK? As CRM seem to say a lot of watches are under list now. And I said that to you before the show. Yeah, I've seen a yeah. program that said the Milgauss blackface is trading under list. And I, I can't find that anywhere. This is the old supply and demand. Look, if there's plenty of supply, it has to. And you've got flippers and no one's buying. They have to drop. Yeah. But at the moment, I'd say there's not many under list. No. In the UK, is there? No. It's not many. So maybe they're ahead. But people maybe do we're say follow that. Maybe we a similar... But people say that, don't they, Spence? Like China and like America, the, what the prices do there, we then do we a follow, few months later, we but follow we're not at the, the US. same time. Because it's a bigger marketplace and it's yeah. a big, obviously a big, bigger yeah. flood. But yeah. I do remember saying, I do remember saying, um, and asking you the question, when it, when, when the, it all popped a little bit, I said, do you think we'll go back to the time that you know where things traded under list because that's just where the market uh, was? I've said this five, six years ago when we were selling watches at 25% discount yeah. on gold. And 10 cent on... We were still busy. Yeah. We were really busy. So you probably done more tra- transactions back in those days, but didn't earn as much money. So if that's the way it's going to be, it will be decided by the manufacturers, really. They'll be the people who decide. Right. It seems like that's it now. Um, maybe we should give it like another five or six minutes for these super chats. I'll give it an il- another little plug. So what How I've many got, are we up to? What yeah. I've got up on the screen is we've got this random draw thing going on where, as you can see, earlier in the show, people were super chatting us uh, 20 pounds. 20 pounds enters you into the That Watch Guy London a random draw. Um, for the World Cup. So anybody who puts their money in for a super chat, we'll pop your name in here, and then we're going to press this little button down here that says random draw, and you're all going to be allocated a team, which you can write down or I'll screenshot, or I'll have to go back and watch it. And um, you can play along with us. We'll see who we all get. By the way, if I get Katara around, I'm out. I'm, I'm sulking proper. <laughs> How many spaces left there, Gav? Uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine spaces left. Why okay. are you filling up the pot? No, what I was going to say is, if they're not taken, I will take them. Right. And whoever buys a watch over the next nine days will get You will allocate them. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice we'll of you. We'll just put it to the invoices and yeah. they'll get the spot. Yeah, that's Neil yeah. Brennan says, my bloody super chat won't work. There we go. We'll put, put it Neil, down. Neil, I'll lay out 20 quid for you because... You're a good fella. We always see you in the chat. Let's pop you in. Neil so if Brennan. anyone else oh, wants God, to put their name down. Controversy. <gasps> Where? Look at this. I'm going to block on it. Everyone else. Don't think the name Riddler caught on. Everyone else calls it Sprite. Well, what can I tell you? That's everybody else. <laughs> I don't see the yellow in the watch that it should be called a Sprite. So I'm still sticking with the Riddler. You do you, guys. Yeah, I'm doing me. But thanks for that. Um... Yeah, just going back there, Gab, if anyone wants to give their name, we'll just put it down. They can send the money in. Some people might not want know how to. Tim Jack says that. penalty, but I can't see anything on the screen. There's no penalty, is there? James, that hasn't made a penalty, is there? Might be a little delay. 
Oh. Yeah, we were delayed at work and David Tim, kept penalty to who? through on his phone. Hopefully us, not us. But yeah, the mad watch collector. It's the Riddler, no yellow. Exactly. I, I, I don't understand how, yeah, a lot of the American channels mm. call it the, the Sprite. Don't get it. No yellow in it. Just because it's a drink like the Pepsi and the Coke. Makes some difference to me. Anyway, uh, there we go. Russell, come on. You must be, You must want to enter our draw. Should we put a score in for Russell? Oh, penalty. Yeah, penalty. There we go. Who to? Wales. Wales, fantastic. Have they scored? No, yeah, but we're that far behind. They must have must have kicked it by now. Wow. No? <laughs> Russell said, I did think the Green Lantern as well. Hold on a sec. We've got to watch the penalty now. Are you, you? Everybody watching home probably knows what the... Um, yeah, but... No, tell us. Who the winner was, yeah. So it's Wells. Did they score? Oh, Des has joined us. uh... Uh, Crawley Steve. Let's add you in. No, they've all gone quiet while they're watching the uh, the penalty. Mm -hmm. Let me know if they score. Gareth Bale just scored. You don't, oh, by the way, that's not a prediction. Gareth Bale just scored. <laughs> Should we have a well bet done, it? Gareth Bale. How long to go, James? Ten. Ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. I need another goal in this second half. That's what I need. Uh, Gav, send me over your details on Instagram. I'll send you over the 20 quid. We can talk about the moon swatch. Let's do that. Um, scored. Fantastic. Come on, the Wellish. There's his lowballing. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Des, you really are low-balling, but it's all right. We'll stick you in. I've got I've got Des in already. He did the 17 first, James. Okay. The mad boy, you put Russell down, yeah? Yeah, Russell's in there. You guys, so we must be full it, now. It, it's a penalty. It's done. You don't need to watch it. No, no, but it's he, quite interesting he scored. to watch it. They're penalty. way behind. Fantastic. All right, we've just got uh, five more slots to fill up, guys. Um, or Spencer will give Let's them. Let's say, otherwise I'll take yeah, them. Yeah, Spencer will them. take them. Fantastic. There we go. Good, Good pen. pen. Go on, Gareth Bale, the Aww. Welsh wizard. Amazing. You know, he goes out with someone that was on The Only Way is Essex. Does his he? wife, Emma. He doesn't go out. I was going to say, I thought he was married no. with children. He has no, got he three is. kids. Yeah, I know. Oh, and yeah. she w she was on The Only Way is Essex. Mm. Emma, his wife. Strider says, do you know any good watch dealers in Sydney? Also, I'm interested in getting the missus a yacht master steel and platinum 37 mil. How hard to obtain are they? Quite easy. Quite easy to yeah. obtain. Yeah. 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 But not. We won't have difficulty. But you c can't supply Australia anyway, can you? Bit difficult. Yeah. Unless you want to fly over, come and see us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that'd be a good idea. Should we get to um, the questions from Instagram? <laughs> oh, we got it, the keeper. We are very light on questions this week. So here we go. Um, Spencer. Your view on the SD16600 so wearability, so funny. versatility. I bought that watch today. Did you? Yeah. We were saying we haven't had one in for ages. So we look at all the stock and everything we sell. And I said to Kaylee, we haven't had one of these and we bought one today. And someone's asked me about that. I think it's a great watch. Look, they've always been a little bit different. All of the sea dwellers slightly, something just a little bit more unusual yeah. than the subs, haven't they? Yeah. But Sea Dwellers, they're good watches. And again, good value. That's sort of, I think, nine and a half, ten thousand pounds. Great value. Yeah, great value. Four CDs and walks and watches, you are appropriately entered. And let's go to question number two. Do you remember the first England game you went to see? Me? No. Do you? I do, actually. Really? It's so funny because I really do. I can tell you who I went with, who go took on. me. 1978, I was eight years old. It was my friend's birthday. His birthday was in May. Jason Cohen. Who yeah, you know, yeah. his dad took us for his birthday to see England versus Hungary, and I believe England won well, four God. one. I think it was yeah, four one or four two. Memory than me. You don't forget your first yeah. England game, Spence. Spencer does. <laughs> I do. You don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember what yesterday, exactly. like goldfish, aren't you? Uh, question number three: uh, If Argentina was a watch brand, who would they be? Mm, it's an interesting question. I know what I'm going to say for this. Shall I go? Go on. Jacob and Co. You really? were about to say Jacob and Co. Because they are a lot of flair. They're very individual. A little bit fiery. Not everybody's cup of tea, but make unbelievable watches. Mm. So for you... I would say something like Frank Muller then. 
again, who back in the day was a very popular piece. Yeah, yeah. Kaylee, do you understand the question? No. Um, <laughs> I was just, no. You're daydreaming. No, but I was listening to you two and I thought I can't answer the question, so <laughs> okay. that one I can't help right, with. We'll pass on that one. <laughs> we'll pass on that one. Uh, from Sid Williamson, best watch under 15K, old or new? Spence will say vintage. I would say um, Sea Dweller 4000. A Sea Dweller 4000? Yeah. Okay. Sort of bang on the money at 15,000. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I'm going to go with... Um, you probably go Milgauss, won't you? No, I'm not going to go no. Milgauss at all. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to go... Would I still get something like um, an old reference sort of Explorer Depends two. which one. You get any Explorer. What was We've the one? Changed. What was the one that I picked up from you a couple last year? What was no, this, the Steve McQueen that. one? No, you won't get that. What's the Steve McQueen one these That's days? One six double five. Yeah, how much are they now? Twenty. 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 Twenty five depends on condition. Right. Okay. Um, right. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, do you think the Milgauss is due a reference upgrade with a new movement? Definitely, it's a yeah, one one. Yeah, hundred percent. So one one, it's got to be changed. Are there any one? How many one ones are left across the Rolex range? Um, well, the, so Air the, King, the Air King's gone to the one two. Yep. The Milgauss is still the one one. The subs are all one twos. Daytona. Daytona's one ones. Yeah. Okay. All the Daytonas. Yeah. All the Daytonas mm. are all one ones. Okay. Let me just add in this last couple of super chats, guys. Hold on yeah. a second. Uh, I don't think Milgauss Daytona. Not Explorer. Eric Christensen. Not Daytona. Not Explorers. Not Skydweller. Um, not day date. That's the two. That That's must the two. be. Yeah. It's Daytonas and Milgauss. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Uh, Spencer and Gavin, have you ever been to the World Cup finals? No. I went to the Euros last summer when everyone got COVID. What at Wembley? Yeah. You travelled a long way for no, that. Not long. Um, yeah, it was. It was last summer. Yeah. Or was it summer before? No, summer, summer before. before. Yeah. yeah God, there that. we go. You having a go at me? Yeah. Summer before. Yeah. Wow, um, I have. And that was. M Do you remember the scenes outside? There was beer being thrown. Oh, I've never seen anything. Yeah, no. People storming to get in the stadium. Yeah, I was already in. I was an early bird. Oh. I went to the World Cup in Germany. Did you? Yeah, yeah. That's the only one I've been to. We do have friends though that go to every World Cup, mm -hmm. don't we? Yeah. They're out in Qatar now. Yeah. Oh, what, they're out in Qatar. Well, they're not. They're staying in Dubai and then flying and they fly into over. and flying yeah. over. And yeah, they're they're sort of doing it that That's way. I don't know why. Um, Steve W. Right, we have one spot left. Look, Spencer, you're nearly off the there hook. There we go. One spot left. Um, let's have a little look. N next question. If England were a watch brand, who would they be? If Bro England were a watch brand, who would they be? Maurice Lacroix. <laughs> <laughs> or Bremont. Something like that. I have no idea. Well, it's got to be something that's always disappointing. Mm. Uh, Hugh Blay. Go on. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I thought, you know, I thought originally I thought Tudor because it's like it's Tudor, it says England, it's Tudor. <laughs> but it's not. I, I want something that's something you're just going to let you down or it's going to fall apart or well, it's Hublot. unpredictable. Hublo then. But is it Hublo? Yeah. That's because that's everybody's a I Hublo basher. I got slated on one of my TikToks. Everyone's saying Bremont. Yeah, Bremont. Yeah, everyone's yeah, saying Bremont. Good. But we can't really say that. But anyway, Bremont. There we go. Um... I think that was the last question from Instagram. There we go. Let's go back to have, our... Have um, you two been watching I'm a Celeb? I have, yes. No. Well, and? I want to ask you who your favorite, who's your fave. Oh, for me, without doubt, Mike Tindall. Oh, really? and, and the, the, the lady footballer. That I can't remember her name. Jill. Jill, Jill Scott. Yeah. What, can I ask why Mike? Because I just think they are so rock solid, the pair of them. First of all, I don't think they cause any controversy. They're good people. I think they're quite entertaining and give them a challenge. It doesn't matter. I think that sports mentality, they just do it. If you want to start, uh, do you see the one last night with the yeah, drinks? Yeah, I saw it. I don't reckon any of the others would have done that. Ma apart from Matt Hancock. Okay. Who's He's done everything, hasn't he? I'm going to be a bit controversial and I really like Matt Hancock in it. I think he, I think without him, the show would be boring this year. I mean, I would agree with you on that. I, I, I think I, he gets stuck in. I think he gets on with it. He doesn't make a fuss. He doesn't kick off. He just gets on with it. It seems that everybody agrees with this on the, um, oh, the, on, the, the on the on the watch thing. Yeah, a watch that always disappoints. A watch that kind of lets you down. What Hublot? Yeah, what? yeah. Wow. No, not Hublot. Just just the the, the the sort of the mentality of it. Right. Should we um, should we get our draw done? Because I've got to make sure this bloody thing works. 
I have tested it. Done. All right, guys, we had one more space left so in. So put me down. And right, then let's just we'll... put Spencer down So the first watch right. that's bought tomorrow gets a team in the World Cup. Okay, what I'll call it, I'll call this one Spencer Guest. Watch that one get Brazil. Yeah, watch that one get Brazil. You're absolutely right. Okay, so now mm. if we just press a random draw. Oh, God, what is happening? Oh, let me... It's blown up. It's crashed. No, 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 no. Look, it's doing it. I don't know at what point it stops. It's rustling. It's rustling. It's shuffling everybody. I, I guess at some point it's going to stop. It's doing the whole list, isn't it? This is oh, it's populating the whole list. So this yeah. is who everybody's got, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let me share this with it everyone. No, no, they can see on the screen. It it was doing the draw. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping. Go back up. Okay, so there we go. We're done, are we? Okay. Kaylee, you got England. Yay! Ted <laughs> Mack, you got Qatar. Nick C, you got Brazil. Launchpod, you got Serbia. Brilliant. Spencer, you jammy git. Argentina. You got Argentina. <laughs> Matt H, you got Wales. Neil Brennan, you got Iran. Ray Ray, South Korea. Eric Christensen, you got Japan. Heavenly Mark, that's a waste of 20 quid. You got Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Trudy's got Ecuador. Oh, Greggy Boy's got Switzerland. Nick Nicola, Poland. Pete the Greek, Canada. Spencer's guest got Croatia. Dioptre, 75, Denmark. Des has got the Netherlands. Steve W, Portugal. Ian Nicholson, Ghana. Thurston Howe has got Germany. 4CD, Spain. Russell, the Mad Watch Collector, you've got Belgium. Robert James, you've got France. Walk and Watches, you've got Senegal. Crawley Steve, you've got Tunisia. Old Watch Lady, you've got Morocco. Josh Benson, you've got Uruguay. Come on, Cameroon. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will buy all your Rolexes. Um, has got Cameroon. Paul Thorpe, you've got the United States. Red Shovel, you've got Mexico. Mr. Happy, you've got Australia. Australia. Lawrence Fahey, you have got Costa Rica. You got Brazil. Gav, um, yeah, what about the guest one? Who I've did got? get Brazil? You've got Croatia. No, who I've got did get Argentina. Brazil? So you, the guest one. Um, Nick C got Brazil. Ah. Did the guest get Croatia? Yes, you're right. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to... I'll leave that there so we can screenshot that after. Um, so, yes, good luck, everybody. We're going to take all the money from this. We're going to throw it into a pot. Can we arrange uh, prizes for the last 32? <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to buy something very special for the winner with uh, with all the proceeds, which will be great. Um, Spencer. Yep. There was a big thing about changing the, the outro. Yeah. And what we got? Well, there were some interesting ones, actually. Do you want me to read what they were? Let's yeah. see. I'm going to pop them up. James, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to just jump on um, onto last week's show and just get them up. Hold on a second. There were some really good... Actually, I say there were some really good suggestions. Some of them were absolutely rancid, um, but they're probably still better than what we've got at the moment. Nine minutes added time. The added time in this tournament has been outrageous. I know, it's been outrageous. Nine minutes added time. Yeah, it's 24 14 minutes, minutes earlier. 24 minutes in the, minutes in the yeah. game. <laughs> wow. Because you know why? Because the ball's out of play so much in all these things, so... Um, let's have a look at some of these comments spent from last week. Um, here at BQ, we keep it real, whether the watch is gold, bronze, or steel. Well, that's quite sick. I like that. Like that one? Bit too long. Okay. Um, <laughs> too long. Try them on, Spence. Yeah, go and try that one. Go and try that one. Here at BQ, we keep it real, whether the watch is gold, bronze, or steel. I can't remember. He won't that. remember. I it. can't remember. Too it. long. We'd have to write it on an auto queue for him. Um, there was another one down here. Uh, let, me, let me think. Here we come. Let's. I think we're good with what we got. Really. You think so? If you haven't dealt with us yet, it's only a matter. BQ of time. have the timepiece for you. No, that's sick. I love that. B and Q. Oh, and he's put B and Q. Oh. B and Q have the timepiece. For you, so the hardware store uh, as well as the watch store, yeah. <laughs> Ray Ray says strapline. It only makes sense to listen to Spence. <laughs> <laughs> Try that on Spence. Oh, there's a lovely comment from this fella, Butch Unknown. I didn't even spot this, but thanks very much for the beautiful comments. Gav needs to loose some weight and not wear tight-fitting garments. The Mill Gauss is an ugly watch. Butch, you're my number one fan. Thanks for joining. <laughs> thanks for joining us. You can come again, my no, friend. Do you know what? I'd like to shout out my troll as well, Gav. Yeah. Oh, let's give him a Runscape. thumbs up. Oh, I'm Here going to put on. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for your comments. <laughs> you had a troll this week, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And do you know what? I replied. I did thought, you? Do you know what? No. 
And also, if you're going to troll me, spell my goddamn name right. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Tell Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm all for trolling, but spell my name right, will you? That's yeah, all I ask. Absolutely. A million percent. Suspense, you're going to stick with the old tri- t- tried and tested? So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Guys, we're going to be back next week. Um, we're hoping to have um, Dimitri with us. Um, hopefully, if he's if, recovered. If he's yeah. recovered from his COVID. Um, but until then, Spencer's going to say goodbye to you all. Remember, guys, if you haven't dealt with this yet, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> See you Good next night. week. Bye. Bye.